we spend one-third of our lifetime sleeping. Sleep is an important element in deciding the quality of our lives. If so, what ways are there to help us sleep well? In daily healthcare, we will discover the causes of insomnia and search for ways to healthier sleep. What kind of exercises can we do for deep sleep? We'll find out in Best Exercise Methods. Healthy food will take you to look into the helpful foods and proper ways to eat for deep sleep. Suppose a person sleeps for an average of 7 hours a day, they will have slept for 178,850 hours, or 20 years over the course of their entire lifetime. Sleep makes up a significantly large part of our daily lives. But how much healthy sleep are we really getting? This is a sleeping test room at a hospital. Here, many tests are in progress to analyze deep sleep at different angles. This test measures EEC, REM, ECG, blood pressure, respiration, oxygen saturation rate, and others during an eight-hour period of sleep. Mr. Lee's daily life has been suffering because of chronic insomnia. With a polysomnography alone, it is possible to see how healthy the way you sleep is now, how was it for Mr. Lee? The patient's case, the REMS man is coming, the P-REMS is coming. The problem is that when you wake up, you wake up and you wake up. You wake up and 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 you wake up. There are four steps in sleep. It starts off light and goes in deeper and deeper. Then it comes back to light and finishes off with a dream. This very step with a dream is called REM sleep. Usually, these four steps of sleep regularly repeat themselves about four to five times a night. But in the case of an insomnia patient, the REM sleep may be either completely missing or irregular. Also, each step of sleep may not be easily distinguished. Thus, if these steps are irregular, you will begin to experience symptoms like tossing around all night long, failing to fall asleep, and feeling restless even after sleep. The causes and effects of sleeping disorders vary, and some of us moderners are sometimes faced with very serious obstacles. It is imperative that you question the quality of your sleep through the self-test. If you fall into any of the three categories with serious difficulties, you must consult a specialized clinic. According to a recent study, one out of three Korean adults is experiencing insomnia, and one out of ten is suffering from chronic insomnia. Why did insomnia become such a common disorder? We took a closer look at our daily lives for the underlying cause. It is important to keep a computer or TV out of the bedroom. Alcohol, cigarettes and soda also stimulate the sympathetic nerve system and disturb sleep. A moderate amount of exercise induces sleep, but excessive exercise at night will keep you rather awake. Bedding, too, plays an essential role in deep sleep. With the recently spreading recognition of quality of sleep, a variety of bedding in different materials and types is being manufactured. Sleep 
그러니까 누웠을 때 몸을 얼만큼 잘 지지해 주느냐 이제 그런 편안함의 이제 관계도 있거든요. 그리고 이제 가장 중요한 거는 그 베개라고 할 수가 있는데. The thickness and material of your pillow majorly affects your sleep. If you use a pillow that doesn't suit you, you'll find yourself waking up often during your sleep or still feeling tired even after your sleep. 아, 베개 찾으세요? 네. 예, 지금 사용하시는 베개가 불편하신가 봐요? 네, 여기 좀 어깨가 아프, 작은 한 아픈 것 같아요. 아, 그러세요? 그러시면 은 일단은 뭐, 그 맞는 베개 높이를 네. 한번 여기서 확인을 하시고서 그리고 그 소재라든가 이런 부분에 대해서 또 다시 한번 보시면 좋을 것 같거든요. Everyone has a different curve of the neck. So measuring it properly to find the right pillow for yourself will equip you with the right bedding. 지금 보시면은 지금 이제 이 형태가 바로 그 배고 누우셨을 때 받쳐 줘야 되는 높이인데 이렇게 보시는 것처럼 지금 그 여기 눈금이 있는데 한 4cm 정도 되는 베개를 베셔야지만 편안한 이제 그런 자세가 되시거든요. Your pillow will also affect the condition of your back, so you must make a careful choice. 처음에는 이렇게 베개가 너무 낮아서 이렇게 푹 꺼지는 느낌이었는데 계속 누워 있어 보니까 그게 제 몸에 맞는 것 같고 그다음에 아까 메모리 폼 베개는 이렇게 폭신해 보이는데 들어가면 이렇게 눌리잖아요. 그래서 이렇게 푹 꺼지는 느낌이 되게 부드러웠던 것 같아요. Sleeping posture is also closely related to sleep. When you sleep facing up, your head and cervical spinal cord need to be aligned for deep sleep. If you put a blanket or pillow between your legs, your knee and hip joints will bend, helping your tense spinal muscles to relax. When sleeping on your side, make your pillow a bit higher so your head, neck and spinal cord will be aligned. Also, hugging a pillow will reduce pressure on your chest and improve blood circulation in your arms. Why is sleep important? I don't know the exact reason. It's difficult to find out one by one. The obvious thing is that in young children, the growth is often caused by sleeping. Also, in adults, sleeping is often caused by sleeping. Also, in adults, sleeping is often caused by sleeping. Also, in adults, sleeping is often caused by sleeping. Also, in adults, sleeping is often caused by sleeping. Also, in adults, sleeping is often caused When you have both a healthy body and mind, then you can really call yourself healthy. That's why exercising is not just for your physical health. Then what kind of exercises will be good for insomnia, whose main cause lies in the state of our mental health? One of the most common cause of insomnia is stress. It's a stress that medication cannot cure. Personal efforts is the only way to overcome the stress of insomnia. Let's go and find out how. Daily stress is responsible for damaging health. These days, stress is considered as a source of various illnesses. But illnesses caused by stress don't have proper cures. Especially, the accumulated stress during the day disturbs your sleep when it is the time to recharge your energy, causing harm for your life. Meditation is gaining a lot of popularity among the chronically stressed out moderners. Meditation is a mental training that makes you focus on one single thought. You can find peace of mind when you concentrate on meditation with your eyes closed. Thus, meditation is highly effective in relieving your stress and mental tension. What is it that you're doing right now? Walking meditation? Yeah. Okay, and what is that for? What, you, what does that help us with? 천천히 걷다 보면은 이런 오히려 빨리 걸을 때보다 천천히 걸을 때 몸의 중심을 잡기가 굉장히 힘들어요. 직접 해보시면 아시게 될 텐데 그러면. 일단 그 자세를 흐트러뜨리지 않기 위해서 더 집중을 하게 되거든요. Okay. 그 자세 하나하나 집중을 하다 보면 머릿속에 가지고 있던 온갖 
어, 그런 복잡한 생각이 다 사라지고 자기 몸에 대한 오, 오직 균형을 잡기 위한 생각만 하게 되거든요. 그러다 보면 마음이 천천히 가라앉게 되고 그 장점을 노리는 거죠. 오케이. Okay. Yeah. Can I try it? 왼손을 위로 올려서 yeah. 편안하게 어깨 힘 빼시고 okay. yeah. 오른손은 땅으로 향하시고 음흠. 어깨 힘 빼시고 쉽게 왼손은 하늘, 오른손은 땅을 뜻합니다. For moderners who always walk as if they're being chased, walking slowly can be a good form of meditation. Make sure to have your heels touch the ground first and turn clockwise without any restrictions for space. You should breathe in accordance with your slow steps. It may not be easy for those who usually walk with hurried steps in their daily lives to walk slowly while concentrating on balance. 일에 대한 효율성이라든지 아니면 자신이 원하는 일을 좀더 진지하게 구체적으로 좀더 효율적으로 할수 있도록 명상이 도와준다는 겁니다. 그래서 몸과 마음에 이완적용을 도와주기 때문에 잠을 잘잘수 있다고 한다든지 아니면 좀더 길게 느리게 진행됐던 일들을 좀더 빨리 좀 빠른 시간 내에 더 능률을 올려줄 수 있다는 데 명상이 굉장히 큰 도움이 된다는 거죠. When you step on stones with different shapes and sizes, you may begin to feel the differences. If you try to focus on feeling these differences, you can free your mind from worldly thoughts and focus on one thing. We often think that meditation is done generally in the cross-legged position, but there are actually some hundreds of different ways to meditate. Listening to a soft tune while appreciating unusual pictures is a good way to look into yourself. Meditation doesn't require any particular equipment or attire, or you can try using things easily found around you. With a relaxed mind, it is important to keep away from worldly thoughts and breathe deeply. 사회적인 관계들 그런 것들 뭐 직장에서나 이렇게 부딪히는 모든 관계들에서 뭐 사소한 일에 울컥울컥 화내고 뭐 그런 것도 오래 마음에서 하면 두고 했었던 것들이 점점 줄어들고요. 수련하기 전에는 뭐 항상 피 피고 피로감을 느끼고요. 뭐 자고 아무리 늦게 일어나도 몸이 무겁고 그랬었는데 지금은 잘때뭐 언제 잠들었는지도 모르게 그고 떨어지는 경우도 많고요. 그래서 깨고 나면 굉장히 몸이 가뿐하고 예, 그런 것 같습니다. Why do mental exercises like meditation or yoga bring psychological comfort? We've decided to find out through an EEG. This test shows how the brain works by graphing the waves according to the movements of the brain. Mr. Kim Young Jun has been meditating for six years now. How different would his EEG be compared to those of others? Until six minutes into the test, his EEG drew sharp high mountains. But as soon as he lapsed into his meditation, it calmed down to a steady line. Brain waves are divided into four different types. Delta waves in deep sleep, theta waves in normal sleep, alpha waves in relaxation, and beta waves in a tense or excited situation. You can see dramatic differences among a normal person, an insomnia patient, and a person who's meditated for a long time in a comparison of their brain waves. 불면의 가장 큰 문제점이 뭐냐면은 이 몸과 그 정신이 긴장돼서 어 피곤한 상태가 지속되는 거거든요. 그래서 잠을 잘 때에 그 피곤이 풀려야 되는데 풀리지 못하고 계속 누적이 되는 겁니다. 그럼에 따라서 어 수면 부족 현상이 일어나고 그래서 피곤이 누적이 되는 건데 에 명상이나 요가 같은 걸 하게 되면은 먼저 어 몸의 긴장이 풀리죠. 그러면서 마음이 안정이 되고 그렇게 되면은 소위 이 수면 내파라고 하는 것을 쉽게 만들 수 있는 심신의 여건이 형성이 되는 겁니다. Yoga is a traditional training method from India dating back 6 or 7000 years. It's a type of meditation that trains your mental concentration while disciplining your posture and breathing. Yoga has spread around the world and is currently receiving a lot of attention for its effect on physical and mental health through physical training and mental purification.
In Korea alone, the population of yoga apprentices is reaching 1 million. Yoga is becoming extremely popular all around the world. The cool thing about yoga is that not only can you meditate, but you get exercise as well. Let's go and learn some of the movements in order to help prevent insomnia. Yoga consists of rhythmic harmony of tension and relaxation. Especially, relaxation is the essence of yoga. Insomniac people are mentally strained and physically tense as well. Yoga takes care of mental and physical strain and even insomnia. This move improves the blood circulation in the legs. When you move your upper body, it relieves tension in your body and helps you sleep better. This move is a bit more difficult. Face your body upward and stretch. Your tense body will then be fully relaxed. As this move requires intense concentration, it stimulates the autonomic nervous system, which controls the internal organ movements and helps you regulate the body. Yoga is an exercise that demands continuous concentration and patience. Its purpose lies in self-cultivation, so you must not compete or overdo it. It is only effective if you practice it at least three times a week. Especially before you go to bed, if you meditate in combination with yoga, it will guide you to a deeper sleep. 유학생활 혼자 제가 갔었거든요. 그러니까 어린 나이에 혼자 갔었으니까 그런 스트레스로 인해서 거의 두 시간도 잘못 자고 잠만 잤다가 하면은 꿈 때문에 깨고 거의 두 시간 자면서도 한 여덟 번 깨신다고 생각하시면 돼요. 그래서 그러니까 그 심리 상담하시는 분까지 찾아가요. 수면제도 되게 많이 먹고 그랬었거든요. a peace of body and a peace of mind is important in trying to prevent insomnia. Let meditation and yoga get rid of your daily worries and stress and try going to sleep with the peace of mind. When all efforts to sleep just fail, many would resort to sleeping pills. But frequently, consumed pills result in a vicious cycle of nervousness, anxiety and restlessness, and ultimately in insomnia. To solve this problem, food works the best. When you're troubled with insomnia, eating the right food will solve your problem. Even with a casual glance, we see a variety of foods around us. But not all of them are actually good for our body there are foods that hinder us from getting a good night's sleep. Especially caffeine drinks, including coffee and soda, are the biggest enemies of a good sleep. That is because caffeine agitates the central nerves. The effect of caffeine on our body continues for 8 to 14 hours, depending on individual differences. Spicy or pungent food can also play a part in interrupting deep sleep. In the case of chili peppers, a substance called capacin stimulates the sympathetic nerve and disturbs sleep. Others may include alcohol, greasy food, chocolate, and ice cream. But what kind of foods really disturb deep sleep? 지방이 너무 많이 농축된 식품은 우리가 섭취했을 때 위에 너무 오래 머무르게 되거든요. 그러다 보니까 위가 오랫동안 일을 하게 되고 그렇게 해서 우리가 숙면을 방해를 받게 돼요. 또 저희가 흔히 알코올을 잠들기 위한 수단으로 많이 사용을 하는데 알코올은 잠이 쉽게 들게 하는 데는 효과적이지만 이게 자는 동안에 알코올 농도가 혈중 농도가 떨어지면서 오히려 각성 상태로 만들거든요. 그래서 수면을 오히려 방해하는 식품으로 알려져 있습니다. 
As we just found out, there are foods that chase away sleep. But there are also foods that bring sleep, such as ripe bananas and pineapples. Which substances are really helpful for sleep? 잠을 자극하는 물질로 뇌 속에 신경 전달 물질인 세로토닌이라는 물질이 있습니다. 이 세로토닌은 뇌에서 아미노산인 트립토판으로부터 합성됩니다. 또이 트립토판이 뇌 속으로 들어가는 것을 도와주는 물질이 당질 식품입니다. 그러므로 단백질 식품과 당질 식품을 적절히 섭취하면 수면에 도움이 된다고 할수 있습니다. High protein foods are a good example of helpful foods for a deep sleep. Among high protein foods, chicken is one of the highest. Chicken is higher in protein compared to beef or pork. Now, let's take a look at exactly what part of a chicken has the most amount of tryptophan. Liver contains the most, but it was clear to see that tryptophan is also evenly distributed in breasts, lean meat, wings, and legs. Chicken meat is soft, high in protein, easy to cook, and nutritious, so it's used in various dishes. But which would be the best way to cook chicken in order to maximize the deep sleep effect? 대신 배로 소화되기 쉽게 어, 푹 삶아서 하는 그런 요리가 좋은데 그게 다 당질 식품인 찹쌀이라든가 쌀을 넣어서 함께 조리한 닭죽이라든가 혹은 또 진정 효과가 있는 대추 이런 것들을 넣어서 어, 푹 삶는 삼계탕이라든가 이런 것들이 좋은 방법이라고 생각이 됩니다. Chicken porridge is known for its deep sleep effect. It is also a nutritious dish that brings back your appetite if you have lost it. Chicken porridge is easy to make at home. Now, shall we try making it together? For chicken porridge, we need chicken, glutinous rice, jujubes, garlic, etc. You can also add other ingredients like thorny ash, milk vetch, Chinese anglacia, ginseng, and oak mushrooms, depending on your personal preference. Let's take a look at each individual step. First, to make the porridge milder, put the chicken and thorny ash in a pot, add other healthy ingredients like milk vetch, Chinese angelica, mung beans, and jujubes, and boil over a high heat. When the water starts to boil, put the glutinous rice and garlic in. If you prefer, put in other ingredients like ginseng or oak mushrooms and reduce the heat to medium. Stir from time to time to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom for 30 minutes until the rice has softened. Highly nutritious and delicious chicken porridge is ready to serve. Everyone will love this chicken porridge. Bon appetit. 조금 일단 드시면은 소화가 빠르기 때문에 위에 부담을 주지 않고 그리고 이 닭죽 같은 경우에는 약재나 또 여러 가지 많은 재료들이 들어가기 때문에 성인병 예방에도 도움이 되고 있습니다. Depending on how you cook it and what parts you use, chicken offers a varied amount of tastes. New and innovative ways to cook chicken are winning over the taste buds of younger people. 닭게탕이나 그런 경우는 이렇게 샐러드랑 같이 안 먹잖아요. 이게 피전 요리잖아요. 그래서 야채랑 먹을 수 있어서 좋고요. 더 담백하고 고기의 질을 더 느낄 수 있는 것 같아요. We cannot discuss helpful foods for deep sleep without talking about lettuce. Lactosin, contained in lactosarium from lettuce stems, has sedative and soothing effects which relax nerves. This is why you become drowsy after eating a lot of lettuce. Pumpkin is not only high in many nutrients such as beta-carotene, protein, vitamins, minerals, etc., but also helpful for deep sleep. It tastes mild and sweet and digests easily. So, it is a perfect addition to any meal. Taro is a renowned health food for accelerating the secretion of melatonin, a substance that controls biorhythm. Taro is effective for those who suffer from fatigue caused by insomnia. Solomon's seal tea, or eucomia ulmanoids tea, do not contain caffeine, 
but contain minerals like calcium and magnesium, which are helpful for deep sleep. Then what is the proper way to eat for deep sleep? Proper ways to eat for deep sleep, number one, eat a light meal two hours before bed and keep your stomach moderately full. 과도하게 음식을 섭취하신 상태에서 주무시는 것은 위나 장에서 소화시키느라고 시간이 많이 걸릴 수가 있기 때문에 수면을 취하신 데 도움이 되지 않고요. 또 반대의 경우도 마찬가지입니다. 공복 상태에서 내지는 너무 배가 고픈 상태에서 잠자리에 드시는 것도 수면에 도움이 되지 않는데 공복감 자체도 또 공복으로 인한 혈당 강화로 자율신경계의 항진을 일으켜서 잠이 드는 것을 더 어렵게 만들 수 있습니다. 그래서 적당한 포만감을 가진 상태에서 수면을 취하시는 것이 가장 수면에 도움이 됩니다. Proper ways to eat for deep sleep number two. Breakfast is a must. Make sure you eat it. Eating breakfast at a designated time will make your body rhythm regular and help you sleep deeply. Proper ways to eat for deep sleep number three. Before bed, drink a glass of milk. 잠자기 한두 시간 전에 따뜻하게 데운 우유와 과자 한두 조각 먹는 것이 수면에 도움을 준다고 할수 있습니다. 왜냐하면 우유에는 무기질과 트립토판이 수면을 도와주고 또 과자에 있는 당질이 혈당을 높여서 수면을 도와주는 역할을 합니다. 그래서 따뜻한 우유에 과자 한두 조각을 먹는 것이 수면을 도와주는 좋은 식품 배합이라고 할수 있습니다. 똑같은 예로서 우유에다가 꿀을 섞어 먹는 것도 단백질과 당질을 혼합해서 먹는 수면에 도움을 주는 식품 배합이라고 할수 있습니다. We've been mostly concerned about the time when we're awake. But if we're not getting healthy sleep, the hours we're awake will also begin to turn unhealthy. With proper sleeping habits, let us escape from insomnia.